says. Hooman goes into the bank. Misko tucking in. Ryan, we talked about the pocket earlier, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's not exceeding those front wheels now. Again, speeds have slowed down tremendously. No smoke, but steam. Throw a bag of rice underneath that thing, and we got a nice little bag of steamed rice as Hooman Rahimi goes outside. Misko keeping good composure, all things considered. That was a nice run that there. Was, here we are in our GT radial official tire of the Prospect Championship showing you what these tires can do in the rain, in the dry. Let's see him fly. Misko out front. Boom and Rahimi dropping back a little bit. Look at Misko getting high on the bank. Feeling confident. And Misko comes down into that first inside clip. Boom and Rahimi takes a wider line. Misko shoots out, goes wide as Hooman Rahimi, you can see him, but Misko does a great job out front. Getting the clean air, or not so clean, but the wet, thick, dense air. <laughs> Orlando Speed World, we call this Scorched. Type S presented by AutoZone. Andy Haley, see Misko out front. Andy Haley, the Habanero E46 goes high on the bank. And guess what? He starts off where he ended, that number one spot. Misko, great proximity, but he does exceed that front tire. That's what you're talking about. Don't exceed. Get into the pocket. Don't exceed it. Don't pop the bubble. As Andy Haley gets into the crease, huh, master class. Where's that emoji that we just throw up the fingers right there? Misko does gain that proximity, not mimicking the angle. Well Round done since day one. And we've seen him kind of, you know, dip in, dip a toe and come leave, come back. So it's great to see him in a car that is working. As Misko, that was a little bit of a checkup yep. there. As uh, was that, we're going to have to run that back. Was that Haley's fault being too aggressive or Misko, did he check up? We'll, we'll run it back. But Misko comes down off the hill and now into the jump. And you see Haley compromise that angle, get that proximity. Misko running away, but was he thrown off? We'll also take a look at it again. Misko out front, Misko Motorsports, that Rowdy's Garage S chassis. Steve Misko qualified 14. Zach Farrar not too far off, qualifying 19. Misko initiating that Rowdy's Garage as chassis. Zach Farrar comes in and grips up and goes and offshoots. Almost gets it inside of Misko, but Misko continues on. Farrar, unfortunately, having some issues or just being too aggressive and now coming to that final outside zone. Goes Misko, he has some experience with this track. 16. Jersey. Let's see what we got here. A couple of Northeast boys. Alex Jager, Nas Energy Drink, Nissan 370Z. Little step initiation in that first outside zone. Misko trails him, but then has to back off into that second outside zone. Goes Jager. Puts it all up in that outside zone too. Misko does not get as deep as Jager. Now it's that final outside zone. Big angle from Jager. Textbook, textbook run there from Alex. Moves like Jager as he advance, does not advance on, but he does have a bit of an advantage here. Misko needs to throw down a good run. This is Jager's to lose in my eyes, so he needs to do what he knows. And Misko now puts it into that outside zone. Jager looks like he's having a little bit of struggle getting into that second outside zone. Now he drops into that pocket, into the formation. Let's see how he ends up bathing in that smoke and Jager massages it and so very similar lead versus lead chase versus chase Ryan yeah I think this is really going to come down to the All right, here we go this is the one more time between Jager and Misko Jager the NOS energy drink Nissan 370Z again it was unanimous on that OMT like you said refine it Ryan and there's a big initiation from Jager just puts that left GT radial tire in the Amisco. Little delayed initiation. Was he thrown off there by Jager? Did he bite off more than he could chew? Let's see what Misko's got. Oh, and he just goes right back to the side of the Nissan of Jager. Now in that final outside zone, Misko goes to the side, but Jager stays in it. Woo, there we go. Yo, look at this. We got a brawl in the streets. <laughs> 
All right, here we go. This is the second half of the battle. We saw Misko and Jager go against each other, and it was, a, they, you know, the red had the words. They said the good friends. Jager said he might have gone down a little on totem pole, but right now, who's going to move on on the bracket, regardless of totem pole? Misko goes in that second outside zone. Alex Jager now into that second outside zone. You can see some proximity there, keeping a good amount of distance. Both the cars look very settled here. A little correction there by Misko. Now going to that final out third zone, and Misko brings on in. I would like to see where wow. Jager's line is. Remember, this is a great battle. A little bit of a break now. You know, that was the first battle of the great eight, and now we go back to the one more time. Here's the second one more time, so two more times. Maybe three, we'll see. Alex Jager initiates, and Misko a little shallow there on initiation. We'll see if he can gain some ground there. Looks like he hit a cone there, no big deal. Alex Jager now, Misko coming very shallow. And he's going to try to get that proximity. He's going to try to grind that door once again. And Alex Jager now comes into that final outside zone. Uh, Misko, he needs to throw down one heck of a lead run in order to get this victory. And we know he's got it in him. But, and like we said, and like Lorette interviewed him, said these guys are great friends. Here we go. Misko looks like he puts the car in the right place here on that outside zone one. How is Jager going to handle it? Goes into that second outside zone, and Misko shortens up. So both of them initiating. And looks like Misko comes up short. Now let's see what we got on this transition and into that final outside zone three. Misko puts it in there. But that outside zone two. Let's see what kind of start we get here as we reinitiate in more ways than one. Misko goes deep in that first outside zone. Great proximity there from Croft. We got contact as he's shoving him. Comes to a halt, and Croft pushes that bumper That's out of the second way. run here. Croft now leaving the start line. Let's get a clean start, and we do. We're good. All right, here we go. Croft initiates in that first outside zone. Misko does not get out to it, and now transitioning into the second outside zone. And let's see how they flow into the third. You see good proximity from Misko. You see him kind of surging, surging, but oh, is that? That's a, that looked like a bumper kind of shredding off. Something came off there, but uh, Misko not phased. Now keep in mind, not the play. I don't know if they're actually in the actual play, Jersey Boys, but right now, just call it like I see him. Alex Jager out front. Misko in the chase position. Alex Jager initiating that first outside zone. Misko comes up a bit short in that first outside zone. Now to the second outside zone. Let's feel the flow. Yeah. Into, very well done. You can see just barely kissing the wall. And Man, flirting with that edge, but no brown cloud being thrown up into that final outside zone goes Jager. The NOS energy drink, Nissan 370Z. Misko did get in the pocket here and there. Have you seen Hamilton? Neither. I have. I have. Oh, I have. That so, one yeah, good? that was a flex. Okay. All right, Steve Excellent. Misko out front. Alex Jager will be chasing down. Misko, you saw that little hesitation, right? Just right before he went to that outside zone. Now come to the second outside zone. Misko, big angle there. Jager does need to apply some pressure here. Just kind of alternating positions. Not just lead chase, but also placement of the vehicle. Misko pulling away from Jager, coming to the outside zone, and almost, almost very similar 